You know what I was thinking? And honestly, I am dying to know your comments on this because I don't know. What is your opinion on kids doing chores? So I've got four kids. All of you know this by now. And all of them do chores in the sense that they have chores that they have to do per each day. And, you know, at first, the reason it started being like this is because we just have so many things to do that let's say they told me, mama, can we go to the park or the pool or anywhere? I told them, okay, I have these five chores to do and then we can go to the park, to anywhere else you want to. But I can't go until I finish these chores. And the way it started, they were like, okay, well, let me help you with chores and then we can do the fun stuff that we want to do. And that's how it kind of started. And then later in summertime, because during the school year, it's a different story. Uh, it doesn't really matter because in, during the school year, they don't have time to do anything. They're busy with school. They're busy with soccer, with gymnastics, with this, that. So during the school year, um, they help out a little, but not as much. But when the summer hit, and actually when it was summer and COVID when hit, when we were in Toronto, there was all that time and I felt like they were not busy in a sense that of course you walk around, you read a book, you watch something, but still because I wanted them to get busy, this is how we kind of evolved into chores and then they all, each one of them had one or two chores that they're responsible for per day, which they did for the day and it was kind of like their chore, whether it was, um, I remember Martin at some point had to set up the table in the morning for breakfast, Maya had to clean up the table after breakfast, or Martin had to do um, like Dyson, or Maya had to help me wash floors, like whatever it was, it was a chore that they were responsible for. And um, how would I say this? At, at some point it was just okay to go with these chores and every one of them had their own chore. And then later it evolved into, for example, if, um, Maya wants to earn money, she would ask me for more chores so she could earn money. And it's totally with me, it's fine with me. We do it all the time. I'd give her a few chores, you know, and then we talk about what is it that she wants to buy or what she's getting the money for. Um, so my thinking is that I think it's good. I actually love the fact that they participate, that they do chores, that they have chores to do, and that they know that if they want something else, they want to buy something, something that is not, I don't want to say I'm not okay with, but something that's not part of our like regular buying routine. It's not a piece of clothing. It's not a piece of food. It's something that they want. Like I remember Maya wanted a skateboard. She already had one. And I said, there's no way I'm buying a second one. She's like, well, I want to earn to buy this one because it was purple and whatever. And she loved it. And all her friends wanted this one and so on and so forth so they wanted to play so I said okay you do uh, you know a certain amount of chores you earn your money let's say every chore is like five dollars or three dollars or whatever you do four or five chores and you get your skateboard type of thing so I feel like it helps them understand that you know to get things you need to earn things which I love and I also remember me, and, and this is funny because I'm referring a lot to me growing up. So my parents, if I wanted something, and at that time, I remember I really wanted these cool jeans. They were super expensive. They just came out with all these sparkles, and they were just really, really cool. And I remember a few girls in school had them, and I really wanted them, but they were really expensive at the time. I cannot remember how much they were, but they were expensive. And I remember my dad saying, listen, you would need to, you know, earn to get these jeans that you really want to and I said okay and I remember I was washing the floors he would pay me two dollars or back then it was maybe two rubles or something like that I remember two but I don't remember the actual currency and um I did it I think I was doing it for a month or maybe a month and a half of like consistent chores and I did it I I love them and I wore them a lot because I had that sense of like I earned them and I remember I remember something interesting that I was taking care of these jeans I remember all the other clothes that my mom or my dad would buy to me I would just kind of throw them around you know not really care but I remember those jeans that I bought those hard-earning jeans 
I took care of them. I put them away. I, you know, when I ate ice cream or something, I remember being very careful not to get them dirty. And it was just funny that that stuck with me in all my years that, you know, it was like hardworking earned genes that I really liked. And I want that for my kids because I believe it's healthy for them to know that if you want something in life, it's not just given to you. So that's how kind of our family um, works. So right now it's still summer for us because kids are starting school in September 9. We're starting the Canadian system, Toronto school. Starts September 9, virtual school we're doing this year. All four kids are in virtual school. And so, you know, um, the other thing we do with chores is, for example, if they misbehave, if Martin did something or, you know, misbehaved or answered wrong or whatever he did, um, I could say, okay, you don't have a gadget for the rest of your day or you don't have a gadget tomorrow. That's your punishment. He could earn that gadget back by doing chores. And in, in this sense, I also like it because he's punished. He understands he's, he doesn't have this gadget, but he knows that if he really wanted to, he could earn it. It doesn't happen always because I feel like some punishments are, um, I wouldn't allow it. But if it's something not as big, like he, I don't know, pushed his sister because she was annoying type of thing, I would say, okay, this is it. This was not nice. Your behavior was not good. You don't have the gadget tomorrow. And then if he would come later and say, okay, well, I'm sorry. I understand that I was wrong, but can I earn it back? I would let him via doing a chore. And so I'm interested how it happens in your family. Moms with kids, let me know when, when you do chores, do you get your kids involved? Do they do chores? Do you make them do chores? Do they do chores to earn something? I'm just curious because I don't know. This is how we go by. This is how we feel. And it, it has been working for us in the sense that my kids are happy with these rules. And when I say happy, um, they find it fair. Let's put it this way. We talk as a family a lot. Almost every day we sit down, um, might be midday, might be dinner, and we talk. I'm a big believer in communicating with your kids and not treating them as kids. And when I say that, what I mean is every kid has a right to their opinion and from every single kid you can learn something new as a parent i'm a big believer that we as parents learn from kids and kids learn from us yes the authority and all that kind of stuff that's a different story the fact that they have to respect parents and listen to them that's a different story i'm talking about pure communication so when we communicate with our family i ask them i i remember for example one time i told Martin he's punished he doesn't have his gadgets and Maya came to me and said, you know, mom, I'm not sure that that was fair. Because we have a large family, everybody gets to say their feelings and how they feel about it. And I always listen to her. And I, I wanted to, do, to ask her, what is your explanation for feeling this way? That the way I, you know, punished him that he doesn't have a gadget was not fair. And she explained to me that there were more parties involved I think it was Milana at the time and Martin. And that since I told Martin that he can't have gadgets, I should have told Milana the same, that it wasn't fair. So I believe in communication and I believe in communicating with your kids and asking them how they feel. And for me, I think chores is just a really good idea for for these kind of things. I feel like it's a it's a good it's good for them to do chores. I feel like it's good for them to Feel that if they've done something wrong they need to do something to make it better type of thing and so i'm curious to know how you guys are with chores do you feel like kids should be doing chores um, on a daily basis or only as a punishment or to earn something what do you feel like on this topic i'm very curious i find the most interesting moment happened that when we were into um probably a year or two of kind of doing chores as a family together. And on the weekend, we could even do chores all together, all six of us. Like Max will say, okay, I'm gonna take over and do the bathrooms. I'm gonna say, okay, I'm gonna do the kitchen. The kids will say, okay, I'll clean in my room, I'll clean in my room. Milana might just take a towel and pretend like she's cleaning everywhere and Mariana can help out. I feel like it's healthy. You know, I feel like it's healthy that the whole family is involved in doing chores. It's not just like mom doing chores 
and kids are not doing anything. I feel like it's healthy for our family. I feel like when my kids are doing chores with me, they feel for me. I know in the evening they're like, mom, you have to relax. We've been doing chores all day. And you know, and we just did a little bit. You're doing so much. You're cooking now, you're doing this. How can you do this? So I feel like there's a sense of like appreciation for my work, appreciation for um, parents in general. So I am very much for chores, not forceful don't get me wrong i don't go like oh my god that's it you have to do it it's more of a like playful way i don't comment and go okay you did a really bad job you know what i mean like i could say like listen do you think that today when you did um, dyson was this good enough or you think you could have done better i think it's about communicating communicating with your kids finding out from them okay how do you feel about this do you think you did your best and i feel like in those moments they will learn because, for example, Martin has done Dyson for a long time, but he wasn't doing it that well. And then Maya did it once, and she did a fantastic job. Even Martin came and said, Mom, she did such a great job. She's very good at it. And then after, I see him, and he's trying to be better at it too because he learned that, you know, she was so thorough at it. He wasn't so thorough at it, and I was just thrilled with how good she was at it. And so he wanted to be as well. And so now... Maya and Martin both do an amazing job at um, vacuuming our house. And so I feel like it teaches them. It teaches them so much that will be so helpful in life. Because, I mean, think about it. A family is like a mini school or mini university. You know, we all have to communicate with each other. We all have to understand each other's feelings. We all have to, you know, deal with each other's moods. And believe me when I say it, we all have moods. Even my four-year-old has moods. Like, she can be feisty, she can be good, she can be all those things. Everybody has their own personality. Every kid has their own personality. And I feel like by doing these things together as a family, you are making your family more healthy. And it doesn't matter whether you start off with chores as like, you know, you if you do this chore, you know, or that chore, or three, four chores, you can choose to buy something for $10. It's okay to do it like that at the beginning. And this is my actually biggest point that before it used to be that they did chores um, for either earn something or punishment or maybe they had a chore per day when it was summertime and I wanted them to do something extra because they had no school. But right now I see more and more Maya Martin saying, Mom, can I help you clean the kitchen for nothing? And I love this. I hear this so many times. It makes my heart melt because they're understanding they're growing up and they're understanding and so instead of now coming and saying okay mom can i help you clean the kitchen and i'll get something in return which was before now they come and say can i help you clean the kitchen for nothing i just want to help you i feel for you i know you have a lot to do so i feel like that this is good for them in the long run in life i think it's good to make your kids being involved in work and make and doing chores and being involved in your day for them to feel like how not easy it is sometimes for moms for dads for whoever is at home and they have to do all this laundry and ironing and cleaning and cooking and all this kind of stuff so i'm all for it and i just wanted to know what are your thoughts guys let me know let me know in the comments below what do you feel is right or what works for your family because remember we all learn from each other so from your comments i can learn something and from this video you can learn something from me right that's how i feel we're all learning with each other learning this big school which is called life right so that's what i think and i'm curious to know what you guys think so you're next write in the comments below how it works for you and what works for you